some people may say that I'm a nice guy and that I do quite a bit of work for the b-boy community but a lot of people don't know what I was like before that big switch in my life I was a pretty horrible person I'm the worst person that I think that I know and yeah that's what this vlog is gonna be all about I'm Dizzy, a 12-time world, world champion, a pioneer, a global b-boy activist, and you're watching the Dizzy Diaries b-boy vlog! What's up? Welcome back to my b-boy vlog. Today, me and the Dream Runners were out all day uh, looking for furniture for the block house. The block house design is almost done. Soon we're going to start construction. After everything was done today, I took them back to my place and I showed them this video, this documentary that captures a very dark moment in my life. I was at a jam in Toronto. There was a panel of judges that were all my rivals. And I get it, these rivals did not like me very much because I thrived off busting egos and making people cry. Like that was like, you know, who I was inside as a, B as a person, not just a b-boy. I battled this one guy and in my personal opinion, I demolished this guy. I saw it all over his face. I think he knew that he lost and the judges I saw them like speaking and kind of being like, yeah, let's just give it to the other guy kind of thing. And I was like, on top of the stage, I was like, oh, I see what's going on over here. And one guy yelled out, yo, if you got to have a problem with it, then let's take it outside on the concrete. And I was like, okay, let's go. And I jumped up and I jumped out of the ring and I, we went down. And that's where this video starts off. Check it out. I knew what's going on. You guys want me to lose. Oh, so the three, three guys who voted against you, who said that silence took it, because the first thing they said to me was you bit some show shit. Show me what you guys know. Show me what you know. You know Why are you I fucking know? old school no, rock? You can't to say that. Why are you telling me to do that? <laughs> Swipes! Didn't mean to invent that shit! You ain't doing shit except Migas is moved, but I don't get the fuck out of here. What are you doing? What are you doing? Nothing! Now what you just saw there was the beginning to a documentary called All Out War. This documentary has just released on YouTube. You can check out on the links below. This documentary actually films me before I met God before I met Jesus, you know what I mean? I was like, I was like a super punk. And this documentary kind of films me in that time before I got married, before I went to Korea, before I started to follow my dreams to say, hey, let's, let's find a way that b-boys can make and earn a living from breaking, you know what I mean? Like from battling, not just breaking, not having to do shows, not having to teach classes, but let's, it was before all of that stuff. You know, a lot of people that saw this, this documentary were like, man, this documentary, it's good, but it doesn't really show who you are now and I think you know what that's even better because this shows who I was before and reminds me where I came from so if you want to check out this documentary it's amazing it follows four b-boys each of these four b-boys were at a different stage in their career we had an OG he's been breaking a long time older and uh, someone who's trying to make it like you know establish his name this was Alien S. This is Alien S before he moved to Europe and then he spread the foundation, the Bronx style all over the world and made and brought that whole foundation craze that exploded throughout 2007, 8, 9 and stuff like that. The second character is uh, a b-boy who was at the top at that part but just went over the hill and started going down and that was me at that time, you know what I mean? <laughs> the third character was a b-boy who just, who just became a superstar at that time and just started shining and that was b-boy machine that's when he really blew up and uh, the fourth character is a b-boy who was really underground a young guy that nobody knew but was really coming up and that was b-boy casper before he got all the tattoos and stuff so this documentary really shows like the the reality of the b-boy life of where we all came from we did not come from glamorous conditions you know and uh, and it kind of shows why we are who we are today right so it's kind of interesting to see who we are I just want to give you a little backstory the link of this documentary is below it's just recently released share it with everybody share this vlog with everybody and yo if you guys really want to see more of these vlogs I just urge you to check out my patreon page consider supporting me 
Your support really helps me to continue to do these vlogs and keep you informed of what's going on. For people who pledge 60 bucks a month, I'm gonna meet up with you once a month to train you, uh, look at all your videos, and come up with a training plan for you. So, but anyways, either way, thank you for supporting, uh, sharing this video or whatever, and I'm sure we'll meet someday in the future. All right, this is Dizzy Supernaturals, and thanks for watching. Peace.